We're still looking for answers after a loved one was shot and killed. It's been a year with no answers after a Conway 17 year old was murdered. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News at 630. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. The family of Tiborian Buffard is working for justice. Tylisa Hampton shares how his family is hoping someone finally speaks up. I always say, I love you, come home alive, because there's so much stuff in this world, you never know. Mother of seven, Takesha Stokes' worst fear came to reality. He didn't come back alive this time. On February 19, 2022, Conway police were called to the Stone Ridge at Conway apartment complex. When they arrived, they found Stokes' 17-year-old son, Tiborian Bufford, on the ground, shot and killed. I don't know what he could have did or if he heard something because he wasn't into anything. Stokes did not believe it was real since she had seen her son hours before. He was at home. I said, good night, I love you. <laughs> I didn't think he was going anywhere that night. I, his phone and his wallet and the door was left unlocked. That's not him. If he's not gonna come back, he's gonna lock the door. Buffard's life was just about to begin. He was a senior in Conway High School. His graduation picture's ready to send out. Instead of seeing him walk across the stage, we walked past his casket. Wishing she had one more chance to have him in her arms. I would give everything just to hold him, tell him I love him one more time. And just look into his eyes and see that beautiful smile that he had. Just hear him say, Mom, I love you. Remembering him most as a caretaker to his siblings. He would start dinner. He would walk them home and make sure everything was okay. They're not, that's not there anymore. Stokes' agony heavier as no arrests have been made, wanting Buffer to finally get justice and a change to happen. I just hope that we have more control over guns and stuff like that because it's a senseless act.